Hi viewers, in this video we are going to discuss the conversion. Conversion of terminating decimal into a rational number and non-terminating repeating decimal into a rational number. As a number whose decimal expansion is terminating and non-terminating repeating is rational. But to understand this conversion, you must know about decimal expansion of real numbers. So, to understand decimal expansion, please check out my previous video. Okay, thank you. Let's start. First, converting terminating decimal into a rational number. Converting terminating decimal into a rational number. Let's take one example 5.1675. Now, we are going to convert this terminating decimal that is 5.1675 into a rational number means into p by q form we are going to convert this 5.1675 into a rational number actually a uh, question will be asked as show this 5.1675 is a rational number show this one 5.1675 is a rational number in the other words convert this 5.1675 in the form p by q where p comma q are integers q is not equal to 0 okay okay let's see now see children if we observe this 5.1675 place values see what is the place value of 5 here it is ones place value of 1 tenth place value of 6 hundredth place value of 7 thousandth place value of 5 ten thousandth and if we read this decimal if you read this decimal, 51,675 10,000th, 51,675 10,000th. So, this can be written as 51,675 10,000th, 10,000th. Simply we can say, in the decimal part, there are 4 digits so that we are going to get 4 zeros in the divisor. This 5.1675 can be written as 51,675 divided by 10,000. Hence, this is in the form of P by Q. This 51,675 divided by 10,000 is a rational number. And if you see more examples, for example, I take 3.14. What is the P by Q form of this 3.14? It is equal to 314 by 100. Actually, it is very easy. And if I take one more example, 4.5, this can be written as 45 by 10. Means simply if we discuss, just we have to see the number of digits in the decimal part. Here I have two digits in the decimal part so that I am going to get two zeros in the divisor. Okay. Converting terminating decimal into a rational number is very easy. Now, let's discuss about converting non-terminating repeating decimal into a rational number we have to focus on this method actually it is very important okay let's take one example 0 0.4 bar now this is the decimal which is non-terminating repeating which is non-terminating repeating here 4 is going to be repeated 4 is going to be repeated since we don't know what this 0 0.4 bar is so let's call it as x okay x is equal to 0 0.4 bar means x is equal to 0 0.444 and so on see children to convert this non-terminating repeating decimal into a rational number we have to keep three points in our mind we have to keep three points in our mind so please listen carefully first point point number one we have to keep the decimal point we have to keep the decimal point before the digit which is repeated before the digit which is repeated and then consider equation one simple point number one we have to keep the decimal point before the digit which is repeated and then consider as equation one next point number two point number two Keep the decimal point after the digit which is repeated. Point the de uh, keep the decimal point after the digit which is repeated and then consider as equation 2. That's it. 
and next point number 3 point number 3 subtract equation 1 from equation 2 subtract equation 1 from equation 2 if you follow these three steps these three points you can convert non terminating repeating decimal into a rational number easily okay let's follow the same steps see children if we observe this 0 0.44 something 0 0.4 bar here the decimal point is there before the digit repeated here the decimal point is there before the digits repeated here 4 is going to be repeated and decimal point is there before the digit that is 4 so we can consider this x is equal to 0 0.4 bar as equation 1 okay let's take equation 1 and next in the equation 2 to get the equation 2 decimal point we must keep after the digit which is repeated decimal point we must keep after the digit which is repeated okay means this decimal point i have to bring here this decimal point i have to bring here means i have to move towards right side by one step i have to move towards right side by one step okay to get this decimal point here to get this decimal point here by which number i have to multiply by which number i have to multiply yes i have to multiply by 10 i have to multiply by 10 see children if we multiply a decimal number if we multiply a decimal number by the power of 10 by the power of 10 like 10 100 1000 10000 1 lakh 10 lakh etc decimal point will move towards right side according to the number of zeros in the multiplier means if i multiply by 10 it will move only one step if i multiply by 100 it will move by two steps if i multiply by 1000 it will move by three steps simple when i multiply a decimal number by the power of 10 decimal point will move towards right side according to the number of zeros in the multiplier and next if we divide a decimal number if we divide a decimal number by the power of 10 decimal point will move towards left side according to the number of zeros in the divider got my point okay good see here to get this decimal point here i have to multiply this lhs and also rhs by 10 okay let's do 10 into x is equal to 10 into 0 0.444 and so on as i told you when i multiply this decimal number by 10 there is only one zero so that the decimal point will move towards right side by one step so that i'm going to get 10x is equal to 4.444 and so on and now see children as i told you if we satisfy this point number two we have to keep the decimal point after the after the digit which is repeated yes i have done i kept the decimal point after the after the digit which is repeated what my point so i can consider this equation as equation two equation two now we follow two points first one and second one and the third point is just uh, subtract equation one from equation two subtract equation one from equation two let's do see what is the equation to 10x is equal to 4.444 and something and what about equation 1 i am going to subtract this equation 1 from equation 2 means x is equal to 0 0.444 and something as we are subtracting 10x minus x 10x minus x will become 9x 9x is equal to see children if we subtract the decimal part 4 minus 4 0 4 minus 4 0 4 minus 4 0 and here 4 minus 0 4 9x is equal to i got 4 9x is equal to i got 4 from this one i am going to get x is equal to 4 by 9 x is equal to 4 by 9 actually what is x children x is this one 
x is 0.4 bar means 0.4 bar can be written as 4 by 9 0.4 bar can be written as 4 by 9 it is the conversion children very easy to make it easy you just follow these three points okay let's see one more example Two point four seven bar. In the first example, just only one digit is repeating again and again. In this example, two digits are going to be repeated. Two digits are going to be repeated. As we know, here we don't know this two point four seven what it is. Let's consider it is as x. X is equal to two point four seven bar. Means two point four seven. 4, 7, 4, 7, so on, so on, so Okay? As I told you children, point number 1. We have to keep decimal point before the digits which are repeated. Here, 47 is going to be repeated. So that before 47, we have to keep the decimal point. And if we observe this equation, decimal point is there before the digit which is repeated. So that I can consider this equation as equation 1. Equation 1. Very good. Next, what about point number 2? What about point number 2? We have to keep the decimal point after the digits which are repeated. After the digits which are repeated. Means, this decimal point I have to take here. This decimal point I have to take here. Means, how many digits I have to move towards right side? I have to move 2 steps. I have to move two digits so that by which number I have to multiply the LHS and also RHS. I have to multiply by 100, right? I have to multiply by 100. Okay, let's do 100 into x is equal to 100 into 2.4747, etc. As I told you, when a decimal number is multiplied by the power of 10, this is power of 10. Got my point? Now, the decimal point will move towards right side according to the number of zeros in the multiplier. Here, two zeros are there. So, that decimal points. How many decimal points it will move? Two decimal. Means, 100 into x is equal to 247.4747 so on. See children, let us revise point number 2. We have to keep the decimal point after the digits which are repeated and then consider equation 2. Here the decimal point is there after the digits which are repeated. So, we can consider this equation as equation 2. Equation 2. And now, what about point number 3? We have to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Let us do this. This is the equation 2. 100x is equal to 247.4747 so on. What about equation 1? x is equal to 2.4747 so on. Yes, let us subtract 100x minus x is equal to 99x and if we subtract the decimal part 7 minus 7 0, 4 minus 4 0, 7 minus 7 0, 4 minus 4 0 means decimal part becomes 0. Now, if you see this whole part 247 minus 2 is equal to 245, 200 45. Now, 99x is equal to 245. So, that x is equal to 245 by 99. Yes, it is the conversion. And let us see one more example. Next, 1.38 bar. See children, Actually, it is the mixed recurring decimal. It is mixed recurring decimal. Last two examples are about pure recurring decimals. But it is mixed recurring decimal. Means, here 3 is not going to repeat it. This 3 is not going to be repeated. Here just 8 is going to be repeated. So, how we can convert this mixed recurring decimal into a rational number? Let's see. See children, as we know, 
लेट्स कंसिडर दिस डेसिमल नंबर एज एक्स 1.38 बार मींस 1.388 सो ऑन सी चिल्ड्रन पॉइंट नंबर वन वी हैव टू कीप द डेसिमल पॉइंट बिफोर द डिजिट व्हिच इज रिपीटेड एंड इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस इक्वेशन दिस डेसिमल पॉइंट इज नॉट देयर बिफोर द डिजिट व्हिच इज रिपीटेड मींस दिस डेसिमल पॉइंट वी हैव टू टेक हियर मींस वी हैव टू मूव वन स्टेप राइट साइड so we have to multiply by 10 okay let's do 10 into x is equal to 10 into 1.38881 now 10 into x is equal to 10x it is equal to 10 into 1.38881 is equal to 13.8881 now if we observe this equation decimal point is there before the digit which is repeated so that this equation we can consider as equation 1 equation 1 okay now point number 2 point number 2 we have to keep the decimal point after the digit which is repeated and we have to consider equation 2 here means this decimal point we have to take here means one step we have to move towards right side so that i have to multiply by 10 this equation i have to multiply by 10 on both sides okay let's do 10x into 10 is equal to 10 into 13.8881 so on 10x into 10 is equal to 100x it is equal to 10 into 13.8 so on can be 138.881 if we observe this equation decimal point is there after the digit which is repeated so that this equation we can consider as equation 2 now point number 3 we have to subtract equation 1 from equation 2 that's it let's do see uh, from this equation only i am subtracting this 10x 10x is equal to 13.8881 so let's do the subtraction 100x 10x 100x minus 10x is equal to 90x 90x see here decimal part 8 minus 80 8 minus 80 8 minus 80 means decimal part became zero now let's do the subtraction of whole part 138 minus 13 is equal to 125. 125. 90x is equal to 125. And if I send this 90 to the right side, it will become division. Then x is equal to 125 by 90. 125 by 90. We can also make it short. Got my point? See, children. now 125 divided by 90 is a rational number it is the conversion it is the conversion hope you understood today's class my dear children conversion of terminating decimal into a rational number converting non terminating repeating decimal into a rational number stay tuned to us thank you